oh, I remember now. I was like, what is this? It's a nodule, lymphocytic aggregates with germinal centers. What are these? They're vessels. They're vessels in which the endothelial cells are so big and plump that they've squished the lumen. You can barely even see that there's a lumen in there anymore. If you do stains, you can see, see there's a little tiny lumen, but the vessels have such epithelioid plump endothelial cells that they've packed the lumens of these little vessels. And in the background, there's a bajillion EOs and there's brisk lymphocytic infiltrate with some germinal centers even. So what's this? Angiolymphoid hyperplasia with eosinophilia, also known as epithelioid hemangioma, because sometimes they don't have much inflammation and they have those real epithelioid vessels. The classic site is the temple, often arises off of a damaged vessel, like the temporal artery if you like bang your head, and then sometimes you'll see like a damaged vessel wall in the middle and it's growing out of it. So there's been debate over whether it's a neoplasm or a reactive thing. I'm not sure if that's fully satisfied yet, but in any case, it's good to know about because it's got really plump uh, endothelial cells. A couple things that I think that no one told me in training, but in practice, I think this and LYP and bug bite are actually on the differential together. Robust bug bites sometimes have prominent vessels and EOs and can have CD30 positive cells. LYP can have all of those things and so can ALHE. So I never thought of those things as being on a differential, but in real life, I actually consider those three entities, robust bug bite, ALHE, and uh, lymphomatoid papulosis um, together and try to parse that out with clinical info. It can be challenging and CD30 positive cells have been described in bug bite and I think also in ALHE, reactive um, uh, immunoblasts, 30 positive. So that's a nice example of ALHE. 